Welcome to the Intuitive Body Foodie Network, changing the way you think about food. Hello. Do you want to know why I shaved my head? Because my mom died. So yeah, I'm in mourning, but I will survive. Literally, what doesn't kill you can only make you stronger, right? So now that we have addressed the elephant of the bald head in the room, let's talk about food because it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. So I have some cooked rice and lentils. Real simple, make it, freeze it, defrost it when you need it. I have some beef bone broth, real simple. Make the bone broth, can it, it's ready when you need it. This is called healthy fast food. You don't need to go to McDonald's or Burger King or Popeyes or wherever the heck it is that you go, convenience store, whatever. It's right here at home, this is real convenient. So what am I gonna eat with this? I don't know, I make it up as I go along. Sea salt, Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, Herbamari salt. I got salt coming out my yin yang, lots of salt. Well, enough salt. I have a little bit of leftover ground beef. That's going in that soup too. Because I gotta use it up. It smells okay. It's been in my fridge for a week. I canned this, by the way. Do you know how to can meat? I can show you. Not to worry, I've got you covered. Video's coming soon. I've canned beans, I've canned beef, I've canned bacon, I've canned pork, I've canned chicken, I've canned duck, I've canned turkey. The only thing I haven't canned is my cat. Well, and Dom. <laughs> So I have rice and lentils and beef and beef bone broth in here and salt. I think that's gonna taste good. Now I already had a little bit of sourdough bread. This is sourdough bread made from chickpea and fava bean flour. I, I took a slice and I cut it in half and I toasted it and I had it with a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt, so one slice. I had that about, I don't know, five hours ago. There be my toasted chickpea fava bean sourdough bread. That recipe will also come soon. Stay tuned. Mmm. Not every single day anymore is a really low carb day. Just like some days are pure carnivore and some days are nothing but vegetarian. That's just the way I roll. What constitutes a low carb diet? Well, I guess it depends on you. Typically, anywhere between 25 and 45 net grams of carbs is considered a low carb diet. Less than 25 grams would be an ultra low carb diet and obviously zero carbs would be animal based or carnivore diet. So how many carbs you need versus how many carbs I need? could be two very different things. I don't know how many slices of sourdough bread and how many other carbs you eat in a day, but trust me, when I say that sourdough bread is low carb, it is in my diet. So if it's not in your diet, and if consuming sourdough bread throws you over your net grams, well, that's your responsibility. That's what you need to take accountability for. Sourdough bread works on my low carb diet plan. I don't feel guilty. So. I don't need any more bread because rice in here is not fermented and neither is the lentils. So I'm getting enough carbs. Oh, it needs more salt. Please, sir, may I have some more salt? Oh, you know what else it needs? Black pepper. Mm -hmm. I like the little kick it gives, right? But you know, it's more than that. It's, it's antimicrobial, it's antibacterial. Like, are you worried about bacteria and viruses? You know, have you got <laughs> sniffles? Get some black pepper in you, it's good. And it burns body fat, did you know that? Mm -hmm. Now don't go crazy on your black pepper, you know, a little bit, moderation. Now, unless of course you can't have it at all, like I don't know what your medical history or what your current physical health is, you do, and if you don't, you should probably go check that out. You know, cause I wouldn't want you to just like pour in the black pepper and then have a reaction to it. Now I'm gonna add some collagen. I do want to add a little bit of extra animal fat. So I have some bacon fat. I can throw that in. Oh, wait a minute. I have some goose fat. I'm going to add that. I think, uh, whoa, whoa, too hot, too hot. Boiling. I don't want my soup boiling. That's good. Maybe a little more. Oh, that smells good. If you're making soup like this and you want more carbs then take more rice and lentils if you want less carbs take less rice and lentils and more broth <laughs> black pepper apparently gives me the hiccups <laughs> that's funny 